Hey, Wendy. It's me, Wendy. Today is a get ready with me video. Usually get ready with me is makeup and then at the end I get changed, but this is going to be a little different. I have nothing to change into because today I need to make my red carpet dress and then hopefully have time for hair and makeup. I think I'm going to make a dress that's, it looks glamorous but it's really easy so if you ever need to look fancy for an event, maybe you can keep this in mind. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you at the end on the red carpet. <laughs> For this dress, I think I'm gonna follow something inspired by Ellie Saab. They had a recent collection with a lot of velvet on top, as well as these big, huge flowing skirts on the bottom and leg slits. I'm gonna start with a velvet bodysuit, give it a round neck, long sleeves, and then a waistband also made of velvet to help blend the whole dress together and attach that waistband a giant, big flowing skirt. I want to put an overlapping part in the front with some velvet ribbon detail and that'll give me a leg slit in the front. To give this dress a lot of volume there's just going to be a ton of folds on the dress so I'm gonna have to work that out. On the back of the bodysuit I think I want to go with a low v-neck to make it a bit more glamorous and to close off the waistband I think I'm just gonna go with having extra long ribbon so that it can be tied together into a bow in the back. So then, just to visualize the skirt, what it's gonna look like is a big black velvet ribbon along the top, two velvet ribbons along the sides, and in between just tons of gathered fabric. After I grabbed all the materials for making this dress, it came to $70, so I'm pretty pleased. Let's start with the bodysuit. I got 1.5 yards of stretch black velvet, and I followed a bodysuit tutorial that I had made in the past to make a velvet bodysuit with a V-neck back. If you want to see the bodysuit tutorial that I made in the past, I've put a link in the description for you. I actually followed everything very, very similarly. The only difference was that when I was sealing the neck hole, I started and ended the sealing process at the back, at the bottom of the V, and that actually made things pretty easy. Okay, now we're going to work on the skirt, and I also got a better marker because that last one was really bad. I'm going to draw these three little ovals, and what these are is if I was looking at the waist from above. Where these numbers are is the front side of the waist, and then the other side, obviously, is the back. I bought five yards of printed rayon, and I started by pinning the two ends to overlap in the front. This leaves us with tons of fabric sticking out in the back, and what we really want is everything to be gathered around tightly around the waist. So to get there, what I'm gonna do is pin and fold the fabric over and over, back and forth, gathering it all the way around the body. So in some parts, I go back and forth, layering over a couple of folds. In some other parts, I'm going to gather the fabric a little with some ruffling. I'm gonna put all the gathering and the folding along the hips and along the back. That'll give the hips and the back some more volume and make sure that my tummy stays flat. I did a very loose hand stitch along the top edge to make sure everything was locked in place, and then it was ready to be attached to a velvet strip. To make this velvet ribbon, I cut a really long piece of velvet to be five inches wide. I folded it right sides together and sewed it along the top skinny edge and then all the way down the long edge. I flipped it inside out and sealed off that one loose end and that gets me a velvet ribbon. I sewed this ribbon right sides together along the entire top edge of the skirt and so that way when I flip it up, it becomes the waistband. Like my plan to make this wrap skirt, I made sure that I left plenty of ribbon on both ends of the skirt so that they could be wrapped around my waist and tied in the back. I tied it up around my waist and noted where they overlap and then to be honest, I just took a pair of scissors and freehand cut a slit into the front. So I cut a slit going down towards the left and a slit going down towards the right. I just cut it wide enough for my leg to show. Then I could finish off those two diagonal slit edges that I just created. I sewed that velvet ribbon to the fabric and then I hid the loose ends of the ribbon by sewing them to the back side of the waist ribbon. Along the bottom, I finished off the entire edge by doing two straight stitches. So I folded in the fabric once and put down a straight stitch. Then I folded it over one more time and did another straight stitch right beside that first one. Doing it in two stitches helps it to be a bit more crisp in my experience because if you're folding it in twice, 
and then sewing it all down with one straight stitch, you're gonna have to iron it a little to help make sure it lies perfectly flat. Here's how the dress looks from the back. So there's so much fabric overlapping. I could lift for you layer after layer after layer where it goes in and out. After all of this was done, I was in an intense rush. So I quickly put together all of my makeup, my hair, my earrings, and then it was off to the limo. The red carpet event was actually hosted by Buffer Festival. There were a lot of YouTube stars. My friend I, Terrence I actually was part of the media and I spotted him. He has a video that captures all the different celebrities that he got to meet. I have a link in the description for you in case you wanna check that out and see who you recognize because there were a lot of YouTubers. I know I didn't get a lot of shots of the dress on the night of, so I have a couple more shots of the dress for you. If you like this video, let me know. There's more photos of this dress on my Instagram, at withwendy. And of course, if you don't wanna miss out on any of my future tutorials, you can subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye. A huge thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. You're making it possible for me to keep on making these videos. If you wanna support me as I make more videos, check out my Patreon page. It is in the description, or you can look up patreon.com slash withwendy. Love the